Thank you for purchasing the Boutique Collection Rocking Seat from Ingenuity. This video will guide you in assembling your Boutique Collection Rocking Seat. This video is intended to be an aid and does not replace your instruction manual. Please refer to your instruction manual for important warnings and kids2.com for additional information, including warranty. Further use of this video indicates that you have read and reviewed the important warnings and other information included in your original instruction manual. If you have additional questions, please contact our helpful Consumer Services Department at 1-800-230-8190. While assembling your Boutique Collection rocking seat, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and three C-size batteries. Please be sure to remove all zip ties, cardboard, plastic, and foam packaging before you begin assembly. Locate all of the required parts for this product and match them against the diagram in your instruction manual. Installing the batteries. The first step in assembling your boutique collection rocking seat is to install the batteries. Locate part number four, seat bottom rest, and remove the battery compartment door on the back of the control module with a Phillips head screwdriver. Add three C-sized batteries as indicated. Switch the power to ON to make sure the batteries are working and installed correctly. Turn the power to OFF and replace the battery compartment door and screw back into place before use. Assembling the frame. Locate part number one, the left rocker runner and insert it into the slot located below the control module on the seat bottom rest, part number four. Now locate part number two, the right rocker runner, and insert it into the other side of the slot. Be sure the right rocker runner is inserted completely and attaches to the left rocker runner. You will hear it click into place when the locking pin is fully engaged. Please check that both rocker runners are securely attached within the slot. Next, locate part number three, the rocker rear, and attach the ends of the U-shape to the ends of the rocker runners. You will hear an audible click when the locking pins are fully engaged. Please check for a secure connection. Installing the seat pad. Locate part number six, the seat pad, and carefully guide the tubes of the seat bottom rest into the sleeves located on the back of the seat pad until the tubes go completely through. Next, fold the top of the seat pad down to expose the tubes and install part number five, the seat back rest to the exposed tubes. You will hear an audible click when the locking pins are securely installed. Pull the seat pad over the seat frame. The opening at the top of the seat pad will fit over plastic latch at the top of the seat back rest. Now pull the seat pad over the seat bottom rest. The control panel should be exposed through the opening at the bottom. Next, buckle all the straps on the back of the seat pad. Here's a tip. The two bottom straps will create an X over the battery compartment door when installed correctly. Now insert the plastic piece at the top of the seat to the rectangular opening toward the top of the rocker rear. You will hear an audible click when installed correctly. Please check for a secure connection. Next, locate part number nine, the toy bar, and place it into the circular opening at the top of the rocker rear. Your rocking seat is now fully assembled. Adjusting the kickstand. To use the kickstand for a stationary position, carefully unsnap the U-shaped foot on the bottom rear of the rocking seat until it is standing upright. To use in rocking position, simply push the U-shaped foot on the bottom rear of the rocking seat until it connects to the bottom of the rocker rear. You will hear it snap into place when it's properly connected using the recline function. To recline the rocker, simply press on the button located on the back of the seat and move up or down. The rocking seat has three recline levels. Storage and travel. First, remove the toy bar. Then press the small trigger button on the inside of the rocker rear. This will release the seat from the rocker rear. Gently place the rocker rear down toward the center of the product and then place the seat down over the rocker rear. Your rocking seat should now be laying flat. Thank you for purchasing this product and we hope you have found this video helpful. If you have additional questions, 
please contact our helpful Consumer Services Department at 1-800-230-8190. Please remember that we are constantly improving our products, so certain features or fashions shown in this video may differ slightly than the product currently available.